all covered the importance of living a healthy lifestyle. Well, now we're going to show you how to do just that. And here to help us out is none other than celebrity nutritionist Nancy Addison. Nancy, good morning. Good morning. Let's start with the healthiest meal of the day, our breakfast. Absolutely. When we start off in the morning, whatever we put in our body is going to be our fuel for the day. Is that why they say it's the most important meal of the day, or why? Why do they say that? No, that's exactly why. Because yeah. think about getting in your car in the morning with no gas in it and mm -hmm. expecting it to get you to work. Yes. It's yes, just not yes. going to happen. My and gas so. usually tends to be coffee, so I know that's probably not the best. So that's why we have these options. Teach me your ways, Nancy. Nutritious breakfast. We can have a whole sprouted green toast with a nut butter or seed butter. I know some people have nut allergies, so sunflower seed butter is a good choice. Ooh, that's a good alternative, high, okay. High protein, and then mashed avocado on toast is absolutely delicious. This is really popular. I see this is like the fad, not a fad, but it's like a, a thing, right? It's, it's like mashed avocado on toast. Absolutely. Everyone's like, well, everybody's wanting to but get healthier. But why is it so popular? Why is that one in particular so... Avocado is a perfect food. Uh -huh. It is a perfect combination of healthy fat, which supports our brain and gives us energy, but it's also got protein and carbohydrates. Uh -huh. So okay. it is really just a fantastic nutrient-dense food you can add to your diet. Yeah, you get a little bit of everything that you need, and right. it tastes good. And you got the crunch factor, which is awesome. Absolutely. Next up, what do we have here? Well, this is a cashew cream that I put on a chia seed pudding, and I add berries to it. And this is actually really high in omega-3s, which are anti-inflammatory, and they support brain health and uh, your overall energy health. So and how much of this do you have to eat a day, for example, to see a difference? Well, to feel I think, a difference and get, really get the benefits. I think everybody's different mm -hmm. and everybody is going to have a different situation. So mm -hmm. as long as you're adding it to your diet, okay. your health is going to benefit. Right. And first thing in the morning, so that's the best way to do that. Well, and a lot of people ask me how to, how to make chia seed pudding. And so I was going to demonstrate that you could take a fourth of a cup of chia seeds mm -hmm. and to make one bowl, just pour in a cup of water like that and you let it soak overnight. Now, when it gets really thick, it will turn into kind of a pudding. You can add a little bit more water on the top okay. just to keep the top of it soft. But in the morning, it will look like this. Yes, it's just kind of all thickened up. And then you can put blueberries on it. You want to put the blueberries on there? Yes, can you and put as many as you want? You can put any kind of berry or you could use any kind of fruit. And then you can add some cashew cream to that. And it just makes an absolutely... This is cashew cream? Yes. Oh, wow. And it would just make an absolute delicious uh, vegetarian, healthy plant-based breakfast. Yeah, speaking of vegetarian and healthy plant, I know you're, you're, you're a big advocate on trying to transition over because, you know, health, I mean, Earth Day is coming up. And you were talking about the importance of transitioning, how you can really help the Earth with your nutrition. Oh, it's really amazing how just doing one meal, even one meal a week. Yeah. In, fi in fact, the Environmental Defense Council said if we gave up one meal a week, mm -hmm. a week, yeah. you know, like instead of having chicken, have uh, mushrooms or something like that, the, uh, the carbon dioxide savings would be like taking a million cars off the road. Wow. One really? meal. So that's a huge impact. If we did just all did one vegetarian meal uh, just one day, we would save over 100 billion gallons of water. By just doing one meal. Just That's one amazing. meal. And 1.5 billion pounds of grain. Wow. And so the environmental impact of eating vegetarian diet, even a little bit, is enormous. Yeah. And so we can, you know, if we don't think our diet has an impact on our surroundings and our environment, you know, just doing this alone, even once a week, can make an enormous impact on our environment. Absolutely. Well, I totally believe that. And if you want more recipes and find out more, you can also get go to her website at OrganicHealthyLife.com, or you can find her books on Amazon. Correct, Nancy? Yes, ma'am. Beautiful.